Hi everybody. This is an update on where we are, what we've been doing. Um, number one, John built us awesome stairs. Instead of climbing up over the stepladder, turn backwards. I'm not graceful enough to keep continue making it over that without falling. So he did this and he just got a, a chair rail put up for us. Say hi to Tom Turkey. Hi, Thomas. So what's happened lately? What's happened is John got a guy to come out and give us an estimate and then decide to barter with us. We were going to pay for supplies and pay for his helper and he was going to put up sheetrock. Well, he took a hundred dollar check and forty dollars cash and was going to come back on Tuesday. But he fell out of his car or something, hurt himself, he said, and so he wasn't able to come back and help us out. So we put a stop payment on the check, but we said keep the forty dollars and so now you're looking at Sheet Rocker 1 and Sheet Rocker 2. That's who we are. And it's pretty comical because we don't know what the hell we're doing. Even though I've looked at um, YouTube and listened to them and everything, apparently I missed the one where they said the walls aren't right and this is how you do it and so on and so forth. So, um, Sheet Rocking, look what we've done. We did, we began this wall. I haven't finished that one yet because I'm waiting to see if there's going to be another piece that needs to be cut so I don't waste anything. Um, the other pieces we've cut haven't been big enough to fit there. So she rocked the north wall of the living room. This is the wall going into our bedroom. This is going to be the pocket door. John hung the pocket doors for us and he got our little piece of cedar put here. This is the um, door jam. This is going to be beautiful. We're going to do the, the ceiling and cedar also. And then all the trim around all the doors and the baseboards and everything will be cedar. So, I mean, we're in the middle of a cedar forest. So, it's a good thing to use local materials. In the bedroom, you can see, if you walk around this way, you can see the back of the pocket door. We haven't gotten the doors yet. I think we might make them out of cedar also. And we were trying in here to decide where our lighting would go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bed centered on that window and the ceiling fan. And then on each side of the bed, about two foot on this side, two foot on that side, will be our closets. And then cabinetry up above the bed and then we'll build a headboard in here that you can open and store things here too. But we'll have a shelf above the bed so we can put our drinks. So we were figuring out where lighting would go up here. We'll have cabinetry up here, which will be great for a lot more storage, which frees up. We'll have about two foot at the end of our bed before the wall. We'll actually be able, I'll be able to walk around the bed and make the bed instead of two sides of it being up against a wall. This will be phenomenal. But that's about all the space we got. John really doesn't have a place for a computer desk yet. I haven't quite figured that one out, but... This part done, and we're learning as we go, so by the time we're done, will we be great sheet rockers? I don't know. Will we ever want to do it again? I don't know. We'll, we'll let you in on that one too when we finish it up. Come on into the kitchen. Got this piece up. John finished getting the wiring done for the counter outlets and then for the stove. And also an outlet over there for a refrigerator right over here, but ours won't be plugging into that because we're going to have a solar operated refrigerator by Unique. That'll be going there. What is it? Nine cubic feet? The refrigerator is 16.6. 16.6. So, incredible. Not the same size as the normal American refrigerator, but for us, after using the trailer's refrigerator, I'm excited. <clears throat> so, refrigerator, cabinet, stove, 
cabinetry. This, of course, is the window over the sink, so the sink will go right here with one more little cabinet right here. This area right here, kitchen. So we're going to continue our sheetrocking job here and then here so we can move our kitchen counters back and kind of figure out placing on all of that. Come on around. Here's our second pocket door John's put in. All the doors here, three of them, will be pocket doors because there's just not much room in a smaller home. And he put my cedar here again, which looks beautiful. Everywhere else in our home will be the half of a cathedral ceiling. I don't know what you want to call it. Shed ceiling. All, everything else will be open up to the rafters with the cedar planking. This will have a drop ceiling so that we can put the whole house fan in here. And then it hangs in this part so it's quieter. We'll insulate some more up above when we put the drops, the drop ceiling down. We'll, and I think we'll put cedar on this ceiling too. And then we have space for the whole house fan to go in here and also for the vent for the bathroom. Haven't done the plumbing yet into the floor for the tub and the toilet. That's coming next. But what we have is the tub, toilet, and a 36-inch counter um, cabinet for the sink. And then John stubbed out for me the propane gas outlet for our propane heater that's going to hang on the wall here. Because our, our little house is going to be heated with a wood-burning stove. So... This will allow us to have a nice warm bathroom when we want to come in here at any time during the winter. And then the other outlet that he put in is, of course, for the propane stove, which is over on that side. And then into my mom's room, third pocket door. cedar on the wall right here and then mom's room so that's what we've been doing we're going to go back to sheet rocking some more tomorrow I believe um, the flooring emporium Gavin will be coming out John hopefully we've worked out a barter job to get our flooring in exchange for a website and or a 360 Google photography of the inside of his business. We'll find that out when they come out. Are they coming tomorrow, honey? Did you call them? Did you hear? I left a message. Okay. And so we got an idea of the flooring we want to put in. It is going to be the waterproof click flooring. Uh, it's hidden underneath all of our junk. This is it. So, waterproof all the way. We were going to do a, a sheet vinyl, but we decided that could tear too easy if we move furniture or something. So we went with this. Sturdier. Um, waterproof all the way through, which is awesome. And that will go in here. I might go ahead and do sheet vinyl, like we were thinking about in the mudroom, where the dogs will be all the time because I don't think they can really tear it up. I'll get the real thin stuff, not the nice cushy stuff, the thin stuff out there because that will be the barn for animals and stuff. And that's where we are. Uh, I also have picked out tile for the backsplash in the kitchen and maybe for the tub surround. And that will come along with the barter. We'll find out for sure and be able to update you on Friday where all this stands. Bartering is awesome. My husband is awesome for being able to get that accomplished for us. But 
We want to get this done. John has already listed our trailer, and I believe it's possibly sold Saturday. And they're going to need it within a week and a half to two weeks. So we'll sell the trailer, which will also pay for our um, refrigerator and a chest freezer. And if we're lucky, maybe a little bit extra for the whole house van. But, um, so today's Thursday, the 29th or the 30th? 30th. And if that's the case, they're coming to look on Saturday. That means I've got to clean the trailer, make it look decent. They've gone over the videos. we got to still get sheetrock done. Now, had we had the professional guy come, this would have been done. He would have started on Tuesday, would have been done on Wednesday, and then he could have mud and taped on Thursday. Not us. Back to work, folks. Oh, 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 another update, a big update. Mariah had puppies on the full moon, August 26th, Sunday. We took them in, was it yesterday? Yesterday morning for their tails to be docked and their dew claws to be removed. They weren't very happy puppies. They, had a, they were kind of whining a lot yesterday. They're back to normal today, five of them. Three girls, two boys, three merles, two tries. Only five makes it much easier to deal with. Mama's much happier than 10. We're much happier than 10. So we have beautiful babies who will be ready right around October 21st, October 31st. Somewhere in there, Halloween treats. So if you know anybody who wants a puppy, who lives close, have them private messages because you'll be seeing um, some videos on them. But first, we got to get this done. All right, guys create something magical. Talk to you later. Back to sheetrock.